Hello guys, Gitanjali this side from TCA Training and Development. Welcome you all. Today I'm going to introduce you with my trainers team. So let's get started. This side Ravi here from TCA Training and Development back again. And now today we are going to talk about data science and data analytics, job roles and its future scope. So as you all know, data science and data analytics has become one of the most popular and in demand field of study these days. They are also being known for creating one of the most and highly paid job roles these days in the 21st century as like data scientist, data analyst, business analyst, data architect, kind of or data engineer as well. Hi, this is Rohit Singh from TCA Training and Development and I am working here as a data science and data analytics trainer for the last six years. In data science, my core expertise are in machine learning, deep learning and NLP. In machine learning, I generally cover three topics that is supervised learning, unsupervised learning as well as reinforcement learning. In deep learning part, mostly I cover on neural networking and we talk there two types of libraries or we can say that framework. In deep learning, we cover two framework. One is TensorFlow and another one is Keras. And we cover almost nine to 10 projects in our data science classes. And those projects are basically minor level as well as major level projects. Some of the projects are sentiment analysis, car rental system, opinion poll, fetch detection, as well as COVID data set analysis. Data analytics is basically done through two languages. One is Python, other one is R. See, R is basically developed for analytics as well as data. Science. But Python has dominated R, reason being its libraries and wide use. Like Python is being used in IoT as well as web development, data analytics, data science, for machine learning, AI and all other parts. So mostly the people learn Python due to its large amount of libraries I already I have said. The part that I mostly cover is basically Python libraries, Python core Python as well as Power BI in data analytics. Data analytics basically works on ETL as its first part. ETL is basically extraction transformation and loading after that we do the visualization part and after visualization part we do some inside gaining and after inside gaining we do some for data analytics is basically covering three sections that is etl extraction transformation and loading of data extraction means you have to gather the data first transformation means what whatever the necessary changes you want to make that you done through transformation and loading means you have to load the data whatever the tools you are using or whatever the programming languages you are using after that the visualization part is done when you do the visualization you get the insights from that particular visualization and from that insights you can do forecasting forecasting is basically getting the expected value for the last five years ten years whatever the data may be the life cycle of data science basically covers first is business understanding, second one is data gathering, third is data mining, fourth one is data engineering, fifth is exploration of data that is called EDA, exploratory data I means sixth is basically predictions of the model and last one is deployment of the model in real world. If anyone want to join our data science or data analytics classes, you can contact us through our website that is tcaindia.in. Thank you. Hi, my name is Priti Pal and I am civil engineer working with TCA training and developments since last five years. I have been working on CAD and architecture designing tools. I have different, I have delivered more than 100 plans with 70% plus execution. I do deliver hands-on corporate training on AutoCAD, 3ds Max, Rapid, SketchUp, Strad Pro and with V-Ray. This is Amarjit Singh from TCA Training and Development. I am a data scientist trainer here at TCA. I have more than 10 years experience at TCA as a data scientist and I will train you on the data scientist technologies like Python, machine learning, deep learning, NLP and the computer vision. So I will train you for the data scientist technologies like Python, machine learning. In machine learning, you will learn the supervised learning unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning and for the deep learning we will go through the neural network, convolutional neural network or recursion neural network and after that we will go for the computer vision for the data scientist. If we are talking about the data analytics then definitely you will have to learn the core python and after that we will go through the python library as well which is more probably used for the data analytics techniques like numpy, pandas, matplotlib and seaborn. These are the core library where you can collect the data, analyze the data and transform into the meaningful information. After that, 
in the second phase, if we're talking about the tool-based learning, here you will learn the advanced Excel part, first of all. And after that, you will go for the Power BI part and the MySQL part as well, so that we can connect these things together and find the meaningful report. Hello guys, this is Sad Vijay Singh from TC Training and Development. I have 10 year experience in CAD CAM CA in project management industry. I have handled various projects while using CAD CAM CA and project management tools. I have handled various projects designing to concept using CAD CAM CA and project management tools. I do have strong knowledge on in mechanical engineering concept. I am Swati here. I have been working in TCA since 3 years as a full stack developer trainer. Under full stack development courses, I trained React with JavaScript as a front-end technology and PHP, Java, Tango and Node.js as a back-end technology. Under full stack development courses, I trained React with JavaScript as a front-end technology and PHP, Java, Django, Node.js as a back-end technology. Hello guys, this side Anish here from TCA Training and Development. I am a data analytics chair here since last four years. I train on Python, Python libraries, SQL, Excel, Power BI and statics as well. This side Seema from TCA Training and Development. I am associated with TCA as a data science and data analytics trainer. I am Rajesh from TCA Development and Training Center and I have been providing the training on different platform like uh, such as SAP MM, SAP SD, and SAP, SAP, SAP FICO module. And I, I have been providing the training on both the module on ECC as well as on HANA platform. In this industry, I have been providing the training for the last 10 years and I have trained almost more than 5,000 students in the last 10 years. And most of the students are working in different industry right now. And I will make you equipped and skilled for the lit from the latest technology, which is uh, which is just going in actually SAP industry. I will make you understand what's the business tech, what's, what's the business process, and how you will map the business process in SAP system. Let us discuss top 10 key highlights of TCA training and development to choose TCA as your training associate. First is live project training second is online and offline mode third is hands-on training and fourth is three years of membership fifth is flexible timing and sixth is affordable fee seventh one is small batch size and eighth is job oriented training ninth is globally recognized certification and tenth is hundred percent job assistance Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more informative videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel.